ghost pepper chicken fries, and of course a ghost pepper Whopper. Oh, it looks like fingers stuck inside my sandwich. Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to another foodie adventure just for you and just for you. We are in the town of Hamburg, New York, just south of Buffalo at Burger King. Trick or treat people, trick or treat. This is a Halloween special and uh, they have ghost pepper fries and ghost pepper uh, burger. I did the ghost pepper burger last year, but I want to try these new ch other chicken fries. Sorry, let's do that. Thank you for choosing the Burger King where you are on my server today. Hi, how are you doing today? I'm all right. Excellent. Uh, I'd like to try the ghost pepper uh, chicken fries and Whopper, please. No drink. Would you like the four, eight, or twelve for the ghost pepper? Uh, let's go eight, please. Any sauce? Would you like? Uh, do you guys have? Any, what's your hot sauce? Buffalo. Oh, it's just buffalo. Can I can I do a buffalo and a ranch, please? Cause I'm thinking ranch would be good with that too. All right, will that complete your order today? That would, thank you. Would you like to add two chocolate chip cookies for a dollar? Uh, sure, that'd be great. Thanks. All right. And make it a name for the order, please. Uh, Ken. Your total comes to sixteen forty at the first one of pay, thank, please. Thank th you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, no, I'm good, thanks. thanks. Have a great day, man. Super friendly people in Hamburg. Hello, you're all set. All good to go already, eh? You guys are speedy. <laughs> Thank you. Have you too. Wow. That's the fastest service ever, ever, that I've had at a Burger King. <laughs> wow. It's like, well, first window, pay, second window. Here you go. Get lost. All right, let's find a parking spot. All right, guys, we are parked. Let's get the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? Okay, a few people asked me to uh, zip down to the United States and pick up some trick-or-treat stuff from Burger King. Burger King never fails to come out with something Halloween-ish. And this location upsold me on the cookies. I don't think I've ever had cookies at Burger King before, so let's do that. Why not, right? We got the ghost pepper. I thought they had a ghost pepper sauce, didn't they? I don't remember. It's been so long. There you go, check that out. Scary delicious. Let's open this all up. Going for a close up. Ooh, it's orange. <laughs> nice. An orange pumpkin Whopper. That's what it looks like. And they didn't forget the bacon. False advertising, they are not sticking out the box like in the picture. Come on, Burger King, make it the same. All right, guys, going for the extreme close-up of this Halloween treat from Burger King, the ghost pepper chicken fries and the ghost pepper Whopper and a couple cookies. Over here in the box, we got our ghost pepper chicken fries and there is our ghost pepper Whopper with cheese and bacon. And for dessert, a couple chocolate chip cookies. Trick or treat. And of course, we went with two different sauces. I went with buffalo and ranch, and we have our first customer of the day, a seagull, and he is waiting for any scraps that I throw out the window, but I won't be. It's all mine. Definitely got to do the ghost pepper chicken fries first. I'm going to open up both sauces. We got our buffalo, of course, in buffalo. They have buffalo sauce. Okay, we'll try one without any sauce first. Still warm. Definitely a nice little bite right to the tongue. Not overly, well, it's starting to build. I hope the lighting is alright. The sun was behind clouds for a bit there. But now it's popped up. Got to go over the prices, sorry. So the ghost pepper whopper is $9.59 US. And the eight-piece ghost pepper chicken fries is $4.19. The extra ranch was 30 cents. Two cookies for a buck. Came to a, to a subtotal of $15.08 after the New York taxes. It came to $16.40. US dollars and I have to keep saying US dollars so I remember when I'm editing I can fiddle around with all the prices 
I've, I've screwed that up before. So right now I'm definitely getting that ghost pepper burn uh, in the throat. It's not out of control, uh, um, spice-wise. I'm totally handling it, no problem. Let's go in for the buffalo sauce. Let's see what sauce is better. Hmm. Not a fan. I'm sure this would be good on some things, but not the chicken fries. So that would be a no. I should almost buy uh, every single sauce. Next time I do a, a review, I'll make sure I get every sauce. Sample each one, let you guys know which one is the best for my taste buds. And that way it might save you 30 cents if you get two sauces. Maybe you'll know exactly what sauce to get. You know, if you have the same kind of taste buds I do. Okay, we're going for that ranch, ghost pepper, chicken, fry. Hmm, I'm kind of enjoying them without any sauce. Ranch is definitely better than the buffalo sauce, but uh, I'm thinking just eating them straight up, as long as you, you get them quickly and you get them hot, they're like lukewarm right now. I didn't waste a whole lot of time setting everything up. And the fact that I had them ready so fast Chances are they they were sitting in under the lamp waiting for somebody to order them. Because it's coming up, yeah, it's just after 12, so they probably have a bunch of stuff ready. Hmm. They're really good. Definitely spicy on the tongue. Definitely got that ghost pepper burn down the throat. If you love spice, but not too spicy, these are these are perfect. Yeah, I really, really like that. Way to go, Burger King. U-S-A. Let's check out this Whopper. Let's do the fresh test. You guys be the judge. Is that fresh? I don't know. It could be the type of bun that's just a little bit more dense than a normal bun, but it just seems like it's not as fresh. All right, we've got the, uh, the jalapenos, the crispy jalapenos. And that's probably the uh, ghost pepper sauce on that top. And then we got two strips of bacon, one cheese. Let's flip her over. Ooh la la. And uh, on the bottom bun, we've got, it's toasted. And we just got the patty. So if you guys really want some nice spice to it, I'm, I, I guess you can ask them to, because uh, again, there's definitely a few bites that you will get no sauce on. Ask them to put the sauce on the top and the bottom. Luckily, I have my knife with me. Let's spread that around like it should be Burger King. You gotta spread the sauce around, man. People want the bite, the sauce on every part of that bun. Not in one side. Not, not like it was. I'm gonna have to wash that now. Okay, here we go. It is not hot in anymore whatsoever. Again, I haven't been waiting that long. Anyway. The bun doesn't taste really different than the other bun. Again, it's a little more dense. The hot sauce is definitely spicy. You get that typical Whopper patty. The bacon's nice. You de definitely can taste that cheese. A nice um, American cheese, all nice and gooey. I got some crispies on this bite. It would have been nice to have more crispies and sauce on the top and the bottom, spread it throughout the whole burger. Just my opinion, my observation of the Whopper, the ghost pepper Whopper. And it definitely has that ghost pepper bite kick to it. I don't find ghost peppers have a lot of flavor. The spice overpowers the flavor of the pepper. 
but as soon as that, see I'm starting to sniffle, as soon as that spice level hits the tongue, your brain remembers and says, yep, that's ghost pepper, all right. Wow. These are, this, this seems to be hotter than these. I'm guessing they do have the, the ghost pepper sauce on hand. I should have asked her to repeat the uh, the sauce types. Ugh, it's starting to go, guys. Oh, let's do a quick mashup, shall we? Get your ghost pepper whopper. Put on your ghost pepper chicken fries just like that. Always forget the mashup part. Especially when you do a couple things. There we go. Ghost pepper whopper, ghost pepper fries, chicken fries. Put the lid back on. There you go. Trick or treat. Let's do this. Oh, it looks like fingers stuck inside my sandwich. Ooh la la. Recommendation from Ken, cut your chicken fries, immediately stick them into your burger, see if they have an extra sauce of uh, ghost pepper, smear it all over the bottom, you got yourself a spicy ghost pepper treat at Burger King. That is awesome. Last but not least, Burger King chocolate chip cookies, look at this one. This one looks way better than that one. This looks like it has way more chocolate chips on it. Let's do that one first then. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh yeah. Nice and soft. Tastes very fresh. Look at that, it's just falling apart. Check it out, it looks so moist. Along the edges, it's nice and crispy, if you can hear it. In the middle, it's like dough. Cookie dough. Mmm. Yum yum. All right, guys, we are all done here in Hamburg, New York, at Burger King, trying out their ghost pepper chicken fries and revisiting the ghost pepper Whopper. Again, mash them together, put extra sauce on it, and you'll love it just as much as I did. And also get those cookies for a buck. Why not? They taste great. I'd like to thank every single one of you guys for dropping by my video, giving it a view, giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment, sharing my video and also adding it to your favorites list. You guys are amazing. I'd also like to thank my channel members for all their monthly support and my supporters over on Patreon. You guys rock. If you enjoyed this video and you want to show your support for me doing these videos just for you, hit it with a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. But if you're still hungry for more, check out that playlist I dumped on over there. We'll see you over there. Bring your hunger.